Hi, this is Erin from the Science Off Center team here at the St. Louis Science Center with an experiment you can do at home. Today we are going to make some pan pipes out of straws. So, you'll need the straws, a ruler to measure, scissors to cut, some tape, a pen, and the measurements for making uh, the notes, which you can get on our website. So let's get started. The first straw has to be 19 and a half centimeters, and if you're lucky, the straws from the store, the straws from the store will already be that length. And the next one will be 17 centimeters. So you measure that there, you can fold it over, and then cut it there. You can save both parts of the straw. We'll use the little end pieces that you snipped off later on. You'll cut eight straws in total, and I have the rest of them pre-cut here. And then put them in line and order from shortest to longest. Like that. Then you can use the little snippets in between to act as spacers so that it's easier to blow across the straws when you're playing your music. Level them off so that the measured straws are at the same height and then the spacer straws <coughs> don't really matter. Get some tape. And tape them together. Like so. The last thing I did was number the straws. Only the long straws, remember, from one to eight, with one being the longest straw. There are some simple little songs you can play with the notes labeled by numbers to make it easier for people that don't read music. Now the nice thing we have here is we have a whole octave. We have a note here that is has twice the wavelength of the note over here. So this one is twice as high as that one. So make some songs and experiment. One challenge I will give you is to see what happens if you cover up the bottom of the straw. Let us know what you find at scienceoffcenter.org. 